Excuse me. Hey everybody, so if you're out there, out here exploring in the black and avoiding the Thargoid War like I do, or you just want to get from place to place just a little bit faster and you've always been a little bit worried about neutron boosting, it's, um, it's scary at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's actually pretty simple. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit a few different neutron stars, because just about every video I've seen, everybody goes to the world's greatest neutron stars. Um, I'm hitting stars that I haven't been to, so we're gonna see. This is, um, this is one of the... Honestly, this is actually a harder one to get. When they're going this slow, I like to just come in re... You gotta just tap it. I mean, if you look at my speed, going nice. And I'm gonna... Once I hit it, I'm actually gonna decrease my throttle completely on this one. And I'm just gonna let it hold my ship for a second. And then once it holds your ship, go and you're out. And that's, what, that's it. Now, the worst part is some of these stars are fucking massive. And they're, they're really hard to get through. So I'm gonna jump to a couple more. Oh, apparently that was short. I'm gonna jump to a couple more and uh, run you through how they go. I'll see you on the next one. Excuse me. Hey everybody, so if you're out there, out here exploring in the black and avoiding the Thargoid War like I do, or you just wanna get from place to place just a little bit faster and you've always been a little bit worried about neutron boosting, it's, um, it's scary at first. But once you get the hang of it, it's actually pretty simple. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit a few different neutron stars because just about every video I've seen, everybody goes to the world's greatest neutron stars. Um, I'm hitting stars that I haven't been to, so we're gonna see. This is um, this is one of the, honestly, this is actually a harder one to get. When they're going this slow, I like to just come in re, you gotta just tap it. I mean, if you look at my speed, going nice. And I'm gonna, once I hit it, I'm actually gonna decrease my throttle completely on this one. And I'm just gonna let it hold my ship for a second. And then once it holds your ship, go and you're out. And that's what that's it. Now the worst part is some of these stars are fucking massive and they're they're really hard to get through. So I'm gonna jump to a couple more. Oh apparently that was short. I'm gonna jump to a couple more and uh, run you through how they go. I see you on the next one. This looks like it might be a big one. Oh, those are some big arms. These guys, these are probably the easiest ones to get into. Um, I just sort of point my ship right here. Now, be careful, because if you get too close to that, you'll um, you'll start to heat up and you'll get knocked out. So you want to stay a little bit to the side first till you get closer to the tails. Um, this is a nice long tail, so. And just see how that spiral is? Just take your ship go in nice and easy and the the more you do this the faster you can do it the better you're going to get at it but if you're nervous like i was at first just take your ship in nice and slow just bring it in bring it in bring it in and then i again back off the throttle and this one i'm actually having to try to keep it in the plume a bit more once you're fully charged just get the hell out again like i said these last two are pretty easy i'm, I'm trying to hope Hoping the next one's going to be a difficult one, so we'll see. It looks like this is going to be my last one. I tried to find some of those really extreme, crazy ones. Uh, if you do happen to run into one of the extreme, crazy ones, and if you're asking yourself, what's he talking about, you'll know when you find it. They're just super, like, fast beams, and they're loud as shit. When you get into the, the system, all you hear is... <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh... You're going to kind of treat it the same way. Uh, don't do what I just did right there. I went in a little too fast and I wasn't paying attention. Um, on those really crazy ones, though, just kind of hug the side, get in, get out, same way you would on um, anything else. Another thing, if you do what I just did and you kind of screwed up, you can easily go right back in or you can actually turn your ship. You can fly directly into the center of these, like you're going um, towards the star. I don't recommend that just in case if... Um, Again, you're kind of like me. You're not always paying attention. You'll go into the star. So, yeah. Just get your uh, frame shift drive ready to go. And let's see. For me, I think that puts me at like 190. 
What's that give me? 202. Which is uh, pretty good. I didn't realize. I must have done something or jettisoned some shit because I used to be down to 197. So, But yeah, there you go. Neutron uh, jumping is super easy. Uh, it gives you way more jump range. lets you go to places a lot faster. Uh, it takes a little bit of practice. But it's not as dangerous as you think. The first time I jumped into one, I was terrified. The uh, second time got a lot better. And now I just I see a neutron star and I'm like, hey, all right, a little bit of fun. Um, the only ones that are crazy are those really, really high powered ones. And I've been ejected a couple times, but I have not lost a ship uh, to a neutron star since I've started. Um, yeah, I don't know. I might do a video where I try to lose a ship inside the plume and see what happens. But I'm not doing that right now because I'm holding. I think we'll have about 500 million in um, data. So I'm not going to lose that. But, all right, thanks for watching.